If you are in the Skyliners community any time during the years 2011 to 2017, then most likely the name Skyliner Boy and Girl sounds familiar. <coughs> oh, oh my god, make it stop, please. Huh. <sighs> anyway, like I said, Skyliner Boy and Girl were very prominent figures in the Skyliners community basically the entire time Skyliners was still getting games every year. Personally, I discovered them around 2013 because of their Skylander hunting videos, and most of my friends did as well. Being a little kid when I started watching them, I obviously found their content very enjoyable, and so did most people. Their channel got consistent views and everything like that, but now the channel is very inactive, the last video being posted two years ago on September 21st, 2017. And that was just a one-off video they did because why not? If you don't count that video, they haven't posted in three years. That video being posted on December 28th, 2017. But what's the story of Skyliner Boy and Girl? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. The rise and, well, I guess the fall, even though they decided to stop uploading themselves. So real quick, let's get this out of the way. Most people know that Skyliner Boy and Girl also have other channels, the biggest one being FGTV. But this channel was made after Skyliner Boy and Girl. This channel was made on May 23rd, 2013. And Skyliner Boy and Girl was made on November 27, 2012, around the same time Skylander Giants came out. Their first video is titled Skylander Collection Elemental Groups November 12. This video was made the same day the channel was. This video is simply just Skylander Boy or Mike showing his Skylanders that he has with his mom behind the camera. This is I'm Michael. This is my Skylander collection. Okay, so tell me what element are these? It's pretty funny looking at the video now, knowing what they later would become. This video is also only available in 240p. I think that's pretty funny. But this was a starting point of this channel. Something interesting to note is if you look at their second video ever, the intro was just Skylander Boy. Not Skylander Boy and Girl, just Skylander Boy. It looks like this channel was maybe originally just supposed to be Mike's channel. Their third video also has just a Skylander Boy intro, but once you get to their fourth ever video, Skylander Girl is a part of the intro. Their first ever, I guess I'd say, crazy big video was titled A Real Thumpback Treasure Hunt with Map. New meaning for Skylanders hunting. This isn't a Skylanders hunting video, just saying. This is where their videos, I guess you could say, that you'd be more accustomed to later, start. It's a video where the dad gets a thumbback Skylander still in package and buries him underground and gives his kids a treasure map to find them. Two videos later, it's something similar to this. Skylanders Giants Frozen Eye Brawl Falls from Sky After Hailstorm. Skylanding. For content, you can guess, it held at their house, and Skylander Dad buys Eyebrawl and freezes him in a giant ice block. Yeah, pretty weird, but it's entertaining for kids, which was their main goal. This is where their channel really started to pick up speed, and where they'd start to make more and more videos like this. On February 28th, 2013 Skylander boy and girl posted a video their first ever video in a long series called Skylanders hunting part one molten hot dog search Oh, yeah, oh yeah we going with Skylander hunting We going hunting for some Skylander hunting Woo! We going hunting for some yellow hot dog and some ketchup and mustard wait We don't need ketchup and mustard right I know you think that the video is missing something Where's the famous Skylander hunting intro? Well, before I mention that, I also like to say that Skylander Boy and Girl hit 10,000 subscribers around the time of May 2013, which was still before they started to use in that famous intro in Skylander's hunting videos. And also, they went to Toys for Bob HQ as well. Even at 10,000 subscribers, Skylander Boy and Girl were already getting looked at by TFB. I think that's pretty interesting, as we all know that Skylander Boy and Girl got promoted a lot by Skylanders. But the first time they ever used the intro for Skylander Hunting was on May 23rd, 2013, which also happens to be the, the day that FGTV got made, which I think is pretty interesting. We are going Skylander Hunting! Man, that intro brings back so many memories, even though all their videos are kind of weird now, looking at it being older, at the time, I still really love those videos, and even now, 
I still think those videos have some sort of nostalgia that, kinda weirdly, I hold close to my heart. Also something I almost forgot to mention is around this time they started to post Skylander Sorch, which also has a pretty recognizable intro. These videos usually have some sort of editing, here's an example. Also, I will play their intro for you as well. Hi! Welcome to the show! It's called the Skylander Shorts! Skylander Shorts! You're watching the Skylander Shorts! Not those kind of shorts! They also started to do stuff like... <sighs> rapping. It's the M-A to the G-I-C elements and you're in a place to be, you better listen up quick while I cover the six, I'm about to break them all down, it's the magic, magic. Again, we see them get more popular with Skylanders because before Swap Force releases, they make videos about visiting VV headquarters. And obviously when Swap Force came out, they made Skylander hunting videos about Swap Force. And each game, of course, they made Skylander hunting videos. And they made videos playing the game of Skylander Swap Force. And throughout Skylander Swap Force life cycle, it was business as usual for Skylander boy and girl making skits, sometimes raps, and obviously Skylander hunting videos. And even getting to look at Trap Team characters before Trap Team release. But that was it about Swap Force. To me, at least, it wasn't very eventful for Skylander boy and girl, if you ask me. But let's go to Trap Team. What's going on guys, Skyline and Dad here. I've got Trap Team on a tablet. This level is called Time Town, and we're gonna go ahead and play through it, and let's see how we do. All right, so, so this is when Skyliners really started to put Skyline of Warrior and Girl on a pedestal. First, they got early access to this game. Even though it was on the iPad, I still would have died to get early access either way. And Skyliner and Dad was also able to go to the TFB HQ, where they got to see how they create Skylanders. And they didn't even have to go Skylander hunting for Wave 1 since Toys for Bob or Activision just sent Wave 1 straight to them. They still did Skylanders hunting for like Wave 2 and stuff like that, but I think it'd be really nice getting all of Wave 1 for a game especially Trap Team. Also, yes, sadly, they kept doing raps. Magna charge, man is still, he's got that magnetic will. You can swap him if you want to, and then he'll, he'll be combined with this guy who comes down from the sky. They also did playthroughs for both console, Trap Team, and the 3DS version. But let's get to Superchargers, because that's when the problems with Skylander, Boy and Girl, in my opinion, start. So I've shown you land. I've shown you C, but there's one more type of terrain to show you. Sky! So this time, the man, the myth, the legend Lou Stutter literally came to their house and let them play Superchargers three months before its launch. So, you know, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And they also got to go to VVHQ again to play more Superchargers early. But let's get to the day of Supercharged release. This, like I said, is where I think the problems that Skylander's boy and girl become apparent. First of all, the first of the kids, Lex, or Skylander girl, simply does not seem as excited to play Skylanders and go Skylander hunting. Mike and Chase at the time still seem pretty excited, especially Chase, but we'll get to Mike in a second. Around the time of Supercharger, Skylander's dad, or his real name, Vince, just kind of seems like he's doing Skylander Boy and Girl just because he has to or he needs to to keep uploading on the channel. And he himself doesn't seem as excited to do it as he usually used to. More of the videos just seem childish and less thoughtful. But enough with Superchargers. How did they do with Imaginators? Well, let's see. What's up, Subscribblers? Today we've got Lou Studded up in the house. And he's going to show us... Skylanders Imaginators. What's it called? Skylanders Imaginators. They didn't hear you. Their first video about Imagine, this is where Lou, once again, comes to their house. The mad lad Lou, he comes to the house and shows them how to make Imaginators, making this absolute unit of a Skylander and showing us some senseis. Honestly, some of my favorite videos of Skylander Boy and Girl have Lou in them. Probably because Lou doesn't scream every two seconds. Here's where some major problems start to arise. First of all, the majority of the gameplay videos do not show the kids. It just shows Skylander dad and mom. Showing now that the kids are probably just less interested. And that's very clear since Vince Skylander dad is just trying to keep the channel alive somehow. I mean, they still do Skylander hunting and things like that. 
but you can tell none of them are as enthusiastic as they used to be before. But not nearly as much content was also put in Imaginators. There was not as many videos and not as many Skylander hunting as well. I might add that they had another kid around this time, Sean. I don't know if he has anything to play with why they ultimately quit, but I thought I at least mentioned it. Things really start to go off the rails when Sky Dad literally starts destroying Skylanders. But by this point, we all knew that eventually quitting on this channel was inevitable for Skylander Boy and Girl when Activision announced that there would be no new Skylanders game coming in 2017. But with there being no new Skylanders game anytime soon, and the family as a whole just being not interested in Skylanders, it makes sense that they have now had no new posts in almost two years. But let's talk about what the Skylander family is up to nowadays. Well, they still have other YouTube channels, and the one they still upload most frequently is called FGTV, where they use stuff. This channel is where they play with the family, they do games and stuff like that. But mostly, it's Vince that is the backbone of this channel. He appears in every video and sometimes is the only a person to appear in a video. This channel is mainly just gaming though, so that's what the dad is up to. He's making videos for the family. They have another channel called FV Family, where they post vlogs and stuff like every week. This is where I guess you can see the whole family. Honestly, I cannot find anything on social media about Chase, but I guess that makes sense. Mainly, he is just on the YouTube channel with FV Family and FGTV. Chase and Sean also used to make videos on a channel called Do Much Fun, but that channel has not been uploaded in over four months. However, Mike has a TikTok where he posts stuff. Do you clean your deodorants? And also, Lex, being the oldest child, of course, has an Instagram and TikTok. And she actually is the only person on their Instagram and or TikTok to admit that they used to be part of the Skylander family. But she also posts stuff on TikTok. Honestly, at this point, I'm just stalking these poor people. But I am just trying to find out where these people who used to make Skylanders videos are now in life. I mean, I guess they seem like a happy family, but then again, they're a YouTube family, so you can't be for sure. But that was the story of Skylander Boy and Girl, and I'd also just like to say that even though this channel was called Skylander Boy and Girl, the main focus, at least for me, it seemed was Skylander Dad for quite a while. Honestly, they came from pretty humble beginnings. But eventually, as Skylanders dipped in irrelevancy, they dipped as well. I can see why a lot of people are mad that they left, but I've always felt pretty neutral on the subject, as I can see why people like them and are disappointed but why they left. But they are people as well, and people grow tired of things, and you can just tell that they wanted to move on, and I think that people need to understand that they just wanted to move on. And Skylanders no longer getting games was a perfect way out. But putting in their community tab that they helped Skylanders take over America, just for it to be a shameless plug for their mobile game, does put a sour taste in my mouth. But yep, that's the Skylander boy and girl story, a pretty interesting story, if I do say so myself. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching.